everybody. Um, I realized that I concluded my series on the workshop without discussing the results of this sound dampening wall that I built to try to isolate the sound from the workshop so it doesn't bleed into the rest of the house. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack up my three readings that I took. One reading was in the shop uh, right next to the planer. The next reading was inside the house before the wall was built and then the final reading <clears throat> was um, inside the house out after the wall was built. I tried to line up the clips exactly. All you're going to hear is the sound from the planer itself. And uh, I took the same amount of material off of the same piece of wood to try to keep all of the variables under control. And uh, so let's take a look at the results right here. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got the results here to summarize exactly what we, we just observed. So on the bottom, I had the meter when it was inside the shop with the planer. And the peak decibel level was 104.6 decibels. And generally, for the duration of that uh, clip, the decibel level stayed above 100. The one in the middle was inside the house before the wall was built and the peak decibel level for that was 65.2 with the decibel meter hanging around the low 60s high 50s for the duration of the clip and then the top tile was after the wall was built inside the house the decibel level peaked at 50.2 and the, uh, for the duration of the clip, the decibel level stayed right around the high 40s. So what does that all mean? Well, I was hoping for a 10 decibel drop um, to help with uh, just the overall noise management of the shop, um, which I achieved. I mean, if I go from peak to peak, it's like 15 decibel drop, but more generally speaking, it, it, it stayed right around 10 decibels difference from before I built the wall to after I built the wall. So what that means in real life is, yes, I can still hear the shop when we are in the living room and we are silent. But um, if a TV is running or if we have company over or one of my children is playing the piano and I happen to be out here working, as long as there's something else going on in that room, you cannot hear the uh, equipment noise, which is a big plus for me, and that was my main concern about building the workshop in the garage, uh, the garage being attached to the house. So a 10 decibel drop uh, is, equates to about a, uh, 10 times a noise reduction, um, and so that's pretty significant. And I say uh, it was well worth the investment. This wall probably cost me around $300 to build. Um, and there were some other benefits to where I didn't have to break into the existing wall to run wiring and things since I was building a new wall. Um, but if this is something that you have come across building your own shop in an attached garage, I highly recommend it as it does make a very significant change in the amount of noise that reverberates throughout your living space. So I hope that helped you out somehow, and uh, if it did, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you're interested in these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I put out new videos at least once a week, and uh, so until then, I'll see you guys next time.